Weeks ago, Sean King, the most prominent Black Lives Matter promoters, called for the desecration of religious sites and symbols. Since the pronouncement, it appears as if several BLM and socialist activists are in the process of carrying out these very orders. This development is particularly concerning as it's an explicit characteristic of Masonic and communist-style revolutions that have occurred over the past century, most recently in Russia and Mexico and Eastern Europe, where religion was outlawed by the state and where political persecution ensued not only based on religion, but also on race, ethnicity, and socioeconomic class. Make no mistake, well-financed and organized socialist groups like Black Lives Matter and Antifa demonstrate that an attempted communist revolution is taking place in the United States. And Sean King is no doubt very close to the people and entities who are running this entire operation. In this way, King is arguably America's Leon Trotsky or Lev Bronstein. King is a 21st century revolutionary who uses race and class as cudgels to beat down his would-be white European adversaries. But who exactly is Sean King? We examine this curious figure on this edition of Memory Hole Blog Report. This is MHB Report, I'm James Tracy. Self-declared racial and social justice activist Sean King is a very well-connected individual. He oversees several organizations that appear to be non-profit entities, yet upon closer inspection are generally set up as private, media-oriented corporations. These companies fit squarely in the Democratic Party's project to seize control of the U.S. Senate and presidency in November of 2020. King is also intent on influencing regional and local prosecutorial proceedings in favor of race-based justice, not unlike the kind being meted out to the St. Louis couple defending their residence with legally acquired firearms from Black Lives Matter protesters. Yet, given all of his progressive social justice, down with European Jesus and Mary advocacy, it's notable that Sean King may not actually be black. But there's a reality to that. Because, like, what percentage black do you have to be where you say, I'm a black man? Well, because he wants the points. That's why it's it's not even about pride, and you don't... Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. You don't... That's the shit right there. You don't choose to be trans black, it chooses you. This is my life, my struggle is real. Hashtag wrong skin. But rather playing a role, taking on the trappings of a racial minority a la Rachel Dolezal, who sought to augment her public appeal by fraudulently passing herself off as an African-American woman. In fact, Sean King's legal parents, if we look more closely, are the same hue as white European Jesus. King's own childhood photos further indicate that he too is of European descent. King's sibling, parents, and other family members are clearly as Caucasian as Pat Boone. Even so, Oprah Winfrey saw fit to fund his undergraduate education with her scholarship fund earmarked for struggling African-American college students. Much of this information came to light five years ago in an article published at Breitbart News. Even a police report involving an altercation of King during his adolescence, an altercation he was involved in, clearly demarcates his race as white. And although eyewitnesses to the incident testified that King was the aggressor, King subsequently claimed the event was racially motivated. In response, King tells us not to believe our lying eyes, that his mother had an affair with a black man, which makes him a brother. This, even though an overwhelming amount of legal and visual documentation suggests the exact opposite is the case. 
Along these lines, King's claim to African-American manhood is essential to his self-representation and promotion as a strident black militant a la Malcolm X or Eldridge Cleaver. Some of King's own cohorts in the racial justice movement have even called into question the overall integrity of his fundraising efforts. When one such allegation was raised, for example, in 2019, a litigious King responded with threats to sue his detractor if she failed to issue an apology that was to his satisfaction. Food for thought as the lockdowns and riots continue through the latter half of 2020. For MHB Report, I'm James Tracy.